Hey guys, I'm here with our read aloud for today. Our book is called The Cow Who Wouldn't Come Down. This is a really silly book about a cow who flies. Cows don't fly, do they? No. All right, so our author, the person who wrote the book, is called Paul Brett Johnson. And he's also the illustrator. He drew the pictures, too. Ready to get started? Okay. Listening ears on, here we go. Miss Rosemary knew that Gertrude had a mind of her own. Even so, the day that Gertrude took to flying, it put Miss Rosie in something of a tizzy. This won't do, it just won't do, she fussed and stewed. There was no telling what people would say. Besides, Miss Rosemary hadn't the slightest notion how to milk a flying cow. Have you ever seen a flying cow? Me neither. <laughs> Miss Rosemary marched into the yard. She called sternly, Gertrude, you will kindly come down this very instant. It's a known fact that cows don't fly. Gertrude cut fig figure eights in the sky, pretty as you please, and completely ignored Miss Rosemary. Miss Rosemary tried again. Gertrude, oh Gertrude, it's time to come down now. Here's a fresh bale of sweet alfalfa. You love alfalfa. Gertrude took a nosedive, caught an updraft, and sailed into a lazy glide. She did not, however, come down. Poor Miss Rosemary. It was plain to see she was getting nowhere. She pulled on her chin and she knitted her brow. Hmm. Somehow she must bring that silly contrary cow down. Miss Rosemary heard, hurried to the shed and sorted through her fishing gear. She chose a sturdy rod and returned to the yard. When Miss Gertrude made an especially low swoop, Miss Rosemary drew back and let go. But her fishing line became tangled in some overhead branches and she missed Gertrude entirely. What did she catch instead? Yeah. Gertrude perched in a tree and tried to sound like a bird. Merp, merp. Oh, Gertrude, do hush, Miss Rosemary grumbled. It's a known fact. Cows don't merp, they moo. Miss Rosemary had another idea. She found a long rope and made a lasso and climbed the attic stairs. She crouched by the window, breathless, and waited. Do you know what Miss Gertrude's gonna try to do? She's gonna try to lasso that cow. Finally, Gertrude whizzed by and Miss Rosemary hurled the lasso. All she captured was a nose full of air. Gertrude, you are the limit, she fumed and stomped her feet. Miss Rosemary was not about to give up, however. She climbed very cautiously out the window and onto the roof. Inch by inch, she crawled upward. She planned to sit at the top and wait. Sooner or later, Gertrude would fly by again, and then she would grab hold of Gertrude's tail. Does that sound like a good idea to you? Is climbing on the roof safe? Mm, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Just as she neared the crest of the roof, Miss Rosemary felt herself slipping. She grabbed for the chimney but missed it. Down, down, down she slid. When she hit the gutter, Miss Rosemary bounced. Whoosh! Her dress billowed like a parachute as she sailed through the air and landed in a mass of trumpet vine. Mm. That crack-brained cow will put me in an early grave, Miss Rosemary moaned as she untangled herself. Miss Rosemary hobbled to the front porch and sat in her rocking chair. That was her best thinking place. She crossed her arms and set her jaw and rocked and thought, hmm, do you have a thinking place? A place you like to go and sit and think and decide what you're gonna do? She rocked and thought and without stopping for lunch, 
She racked and thought without speaking to the postman. She racked and thought without answering the phone. Gertrude, for her part, did not come down, not once. That evening when the sun turned red and the hills turned blue, Miss Rosemary finally had the answer. Wearing a crafty little grin, she rose from her chair and went to the barn. There she got a bucket of paint, a brush, and a large piece of plywood. She made a sign that said, Help Wanted, Full-Time Cow, Experience Desirable, Apply in Person. Miss Rosemary wants to get a different cow? Hmm. Miss Rosemary put the sign on her front gate. She stole an upward glance at Gertrude, who pretended to not be curious. Then Miss Rosemary went to the attic. She dug around until she found two pairs of old roller skates. She took these to her sewing room. Next, she emptied all her boxes of fabric pieces and made a huge pile in the middle of the floor. She went through the mound and selected just the right scraps and squares. The rest, she decided, would do for stuffing. Miss Rosemary sat down and began to sew. She worked all through the night. Her sewing machine never stopped humming. Can you see what she's making? I see it. Do you think it'll work? Do you think Gertrude will come down? We'll see. Just as the sun cleared the hilltops out of the house, Miss Rosemary came followed by Matilda. It's a pretend cow. I wonder what Gertrude will think when she sees the pretend Matilda. Miss Rosemary pulled Matilda to the barn barnyard right up to Gertrude's feeding bin, which was right across from Gertrude's salt lick, which was right across from Gertrude's watering trough. <laughs> Miss Rosemary took the bucket of paint and brush and changed the sign on the front gate. She put a big X through the words help wanted. Then she added some new words. It says, no cows needed position filled. Miss Rosemary went back to Matilda and gave her a pat on the nose. What a perfect cow, she said, a bit louder than necessary. See Gertrude up there looking? With that, Miss Rosemary went inside, fixed herself a hearty plate of scrambled eggs and toast, and sat down by the window to eat. Gertrude circled above Matilda, slowly coming closer and closer. Around and around she flew until finally she made a sudden zoom for the clouds. Straight up she climbed, way up she climbed. And then she came down like a rocket, shh, thunk. She landed squarely on Matilda and mashed her flat. Miss Rosemary smiled as she finished her eggs. She got Gertrude to come down, didn't she? Later, Gertrude returned to munching grass and swishing her tail, as cows are supposed to do. Miss Rosemary was relieved, but she couldn't help thinking. It seemed that Gertrude was spending a lot of time around the farm machinery. Silly me, Miss Rosemary chuckled. It's a known fact that cows don't drive tractors. The end. What is Gertrude doing now? That is one silly cow, isn't it? Flying and driving, tra driving tractors. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you liked that one. We'll see you again tomorrow.